all right guys how are you all doing so today we are looking at the vivo t3 and should you even buy this phone so what's really good thing about this one what's really negative drawback thing about this one so let's find out in this video so this is vivo t3 and you're watching wiki channel let's begin the video then so first of all let's look at the display here as you are already seeing it's really good display that they have implemented although i would say that there is slight color shift slight color tint shift i would say when you move it around but then again generally it really good displays this also comes with 120 hertz refresh rate which is really good 6.6 7 inches AMOLED displays what you are getting at this price point so 19,999 rupees for Vivo T3 I think it's really good bang for buck since they are using MediaTek Dimensity 7200G chipset which is really good in terms of performance I did not find like really any stutter or any lag whatsoever it's really smooth user interface especially and um, that's what I really loved using this one so whenever you use this phone you will actually love the display first and then you will love the user experience and they have thrown in bunch of features and which has been evolved all these years and it's really good that they are doing it really well as they give new updates so as you can see fun touch os again 14 with android version 14 is what you're getting here so it's really good how they have implemented especially with the customization features and they've also covered pretty much all the features that you can expect from a phone they also have this smart sidebar which i really loved usually samsung phone have this one ui interface since ages but then vivo has implemented it really well as well so easily you can opt for any shortcuts that you want to open so that's a good thing here with the user interface and other than that you get the eye manager here where you can customize your phone and related to security related to privacy related to app permissions and all those app management good stuff are completely given in the user interface most importantly the camera setup i know you have been waiting for this one so the camera setup is 50 megapixel 1.7 and aperture in general it's really good i would say at this price point it could have been better the processing algorithm especially because the sensor is really good here from sony that's the imx 82 but then again it depends on vivo how they tweak the software algorithms for images and video quality processing you also get the 2 megapixel depth sensor here no telephoto no ultra wide angle so that's really disappointing at this price segment they should do something that should disappoint you so it's that they have done it so they have not given any ultra wide angle no telephoto you are just stuck with one camera setup primary camera which is 50 megapixel this is 2 megapixel f 2.4 depth sensor and the other one is a flicker sensor i have tested in several conditions here but the generally photos are like normally how you would take with other phones or without this setup actually so that's how this one is as you will see some of the snaps that I have clicked here that's the primary camera setup here if you ask me with the selfie here portrait wise it's doing good i would say not really great i'm not really a fan of vivo selfies here so it really changes how you look so that's why i'm really disappointed usually with the selfie cameras they do here but generally people love it since they get to use plenty of filters plenty of beauty modes and easily they can tweak how they look i'm not really a fan of that but then again if you are a fan definitely you have all those features covered on the vivo phone so it's basically a camera phone vivos are meant for camera things i would say that with the rear camera with back camera if you click portraits it's really good than what you can do with the selfie camera with regard to video quality here they have given the optical image stabilization i would say it works like 60 percent of the time other 40 times it's there is jittery there is blur but then again generally if you are like taking occasional video that needs this optical image stabilization it should do really well other than that you are getting 4k 30 frames per second with image stabilization that's the cool thing there and you are getting full hd 30 frames per second 60 frames per second slow motion at 120 frames per second is what you are getting and and they have pretty much covered the pro mode especially with the pro mode i would like to highlight here so they have given it like 1 by 12 thousand shutter speed so especially it all the way goes up to like 32 seconds especially at the night if you have tripod go to some remote location place the tripod keep the phone and keep it to 32 seconds and capture the picture you'll really love the shots coming out of it so that's where this uh, excels i would say because the sensor is really capable and they have implemented it without any cost cutting other than that performance wise no issues here battery backup also i'm really happy at how it's performing and you have plenty of battery features where you can optimize the battery and utilize it it's a good deal overall i would say now they have really evolved and giving you really really nice results here especially with the user interface be it with the primary camera setup overall with the battery usage and features that you are getting for what you have paid for so at 19,999 rupees i think it's a good deal when you compare to the competition there is plenty 
the competition actually from oneplus from motorola now g85 is being launched there you also have the realme there you also have the poco yeah many have used this sensor as well so you have those options as well so among those things considering this vivo so if you are a vivo fan you need plenty of features to work and you enjoy that definitely you could consider this vivo t3 so it's a good deal i would say at this price point since they have used the mediatek 7200 g chipset as well so there is not really much compromises made except the fact that they have not given telephoto or ultra wide angle really disappointed with that so other than that really good phone i would say at this price point so you can consider this one hopefully this video is informative you like this video like it don't forget to share it with your friends let me in the comment section down below which phone you are considering and are you going to buy this vivo phone vivo t3 let me know in the comments so if you are new to my channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one until then take care everyone bye bye